lot of companies don't realize this, but accounts receivable is typically the largest or second largest asset for most businesses. Your ability to convert your AR to cash faster will have a dramatic increase on your cash flow and your access to working capital. There's two fundamental reasons why an invoice isn't paid. It's either your fault or it's their fault. It's the blame game that we play with each other. As much as we don't like to admit it, in most cases, it is our fault as the business providing the product or service. Whether that is because there is an issue with the product or an issue with the invoice, it is our fault that our customers aren't paying us on time. But there are things we can do to avoid disputes. An invoice dispute prolongs payment. Prolonged payments increase the risk of not being paid. 26% of invoices that age to three months go uncollected. If you have disputes that are lingering out there for six months, you'll be lucky to collect on 30% of them. And if you have disputes that are aging for 12 months, 90% of those will go uncollected. So why do people dispute invoices? According to CFO.com, 49% of disputes may be related to missing or incorrect purchase order information on the invoice. There are a lot of companies that require a purchase order number on the invoice or a purchase order attached to the invoice in order for them to pay. That's something we can control. When we are taking the order, we need to make sure that we have a purchase order number. Our Anytime Collect software has the ability to help you with this process. You can set up a customer and require a purchase order and a user-defined field. A rule will then be created that anytime we bring a new invoice in for that customer and there is no purchase order number, you will be alerted to that. This will help you to potentially eliminate an issue causing 49% of disputes altogether. Make sure you send the invoice. 11% of respondents to a survey by CFO.com on invoice disputes claim they never even got the invoice. Sometimes you're too busy in day-to-day -day business. Sometimes you forget to do things. There are multiple ways to make sure that the invoice gets to a customer. The first is to send the invoice multiple times. There is nothing stating that you can't send the invoice every time you get in contact with that company. The second is to send to multiple contacts. So you may have the accounts payable contact. You may want to send it to both the buyer and the approver. This is especially true to subsidiary corporate company. So why not send the invoice not only to the person responsible for payment, but to the person who approved the payment as well? And then consider sending the invoice through different channels. Send it via email. Send it via fax. Send it via mail or EDI. Send it through all four channels. Then they can never say that they didn't get the invoice. Send the invoice faster. We've run into a couple different companies that only send invoices every two weeks, sometimes only once a month. If I'm extending net 30 terms to a customer and it takes me two weeks to send the customer the invoice, then they only have two weeks left to pay me. The customer still needs to get payment approved, process the invoice, cut the check, send it in the mail back to you. Chances are your customers don't have enough time to pay you in 30 days. We suggest that you try to get your invoice out as fast as possible, daily, or at a minimum, weekly. We've found, surprisingly, that not a lot of businesses are sending statements to customers. It used to be pretty common, but we aren't seeing it as often. There's no excuse to not be able to do this today, especially with email. We suggest to send a monthly statement with the invoices attached. There are some companies who are more likely to pay off an entire statement than individual invoices. Verify all the information around getting the invoice to your customers. Don't wait to talk to your customers until they are past due. Stay in contact with your customers. Find out how they're doing. If the company makes a move or a new AP person is hired and you haven't spoken to them in six months, you may be sending the invoice to the wrong person or the wrong address. Verify all the email addresses you have for contacts are at the right email address. One of the easiest ways to lose out on payment is sending a sloppy invoice. There are a few ways you can avoid a sloppy invoice. First, do not use the template invoices that come with your ERP or accounting system. They are notoriously bad. Second, make sure that your invoices are extremely simple and easy for your customers to read. Are you using the right font? Is it clean with a lot of white space? Do we very clearly define the due date? Don't simply put in the invoice date and the payment terms and expect your customer to figure out when it's due. Have the due date clearly defined. Make sure to include your contact information so if they have a problem with the invoice, they know who to call. Put in your direct phone line and extension or direct email into the invoice. Make paying the invoice for your customer easy. Call your customers. 
Again, according to CFO.com, 27% of finance executives said their customers didn't pay because they did not make contact with the customer to resolve the issue. To combat this, you can automate the collections process so more time is freed up allowing us to make those calls. Finally, get creative with your collections to keep invoice disputes to minimum. One way to do this is by implementing online bill pay. The link to a customer payment portal can be sent in an email to the customer, and after they click it, they will have the ability to pay their invoices and take a look at past invoices. In summary, making sure an invoice is correct before it is sent and includes the right supporting documents can greatly reduce invoice disputes. Making sure you actually send the invoice and send it on time also helps you to get customers to pay faster while also reducing your invoice disputes. Using a feature in Anytime Collect, automated accounts receivable software, such as automated email, can eliminate these issues. Pre-created email templates can make sure all the right information is included in every email that is sent out and important supporting documents can be attached. Since the emails are going out automatically, you'll never forget to send it on time. Using the email templates within Anytime Collect will also keep you from sending sloppy invoices and emails that are difficult for a customer to read and understand. Finally, automating all of these tasks allows you more time to be on the phone talking to these customers. The more time you spend actually picking up the phone and calling, the more likely you'll collect.